Um, got these pods today from Mike Hess. Uh, some of these are uh, Paul Willett's creations. And um, yeah, this is some really special stuff right here. Um, he sent me um, some of this um, seven pot brain strain mash. I can just imagine that stuff is hot, killer hot. And uh, I, I'm going to try to review some of these. I'm not going to do it today, but uh, I just wanted to let people see these pods because they're just so amazing. Uh, let's start with this. Um, I know you guys have seen these before. Big Black Mama from uh, Troy Primo. Uh, Mike grew these. Uh, this is Troy's creation. These pods are just huge. They're just they're just unbelievable looking. Um, let's see what else we can find here. Um, here's another one. As long as we're on the the Mr. Primo stuff, uh, I got some of these a while back, uh, a few years ago actually, and uh, these things are killer. Uh, they're hot, real hot. Uh, they're, as far as I'm concerned, they're one of the hottest peppers out there. Um, really good work uh, on the creator's part, Troy Primo. And obviously, uh, Mike put a lot of work into growing these because you can just, they're, they're huge. Look at them. Look at them compared to my hand. I mean, they're, they're huge pods. All right. Um, next, we want to do the uh, Kraken. This is a uh, Kraken F3, very nice looking pod. And this is a Kraken F1. The F3 is bigger, uh, very nice. I'm probably gonna try to review one of these in the next few days. Uh, now Paul, he has got some very unusual stuff. Um, Here's a orange primo times BOC, but orange Copenhagen. Same thing. Look at this pod. It, it's as big as a big black mama. Just huge pod. Uh, I don't know what it tastes like, but I got a feeling it's hot and it's a killer. And uh, this one here is uh, really special. Uh, I think Mike said this is the only one ripe that, that they know of that's in the States right at the moment. So... Uh, you know, I'm honored to get my hands on this. Uh, this is probably the first one I'm going to review. That's also a nice size pod. Uh, just look at this thing. Unbelievable. And that is uh, Butt Orange Copenhagen times Reaper. All right. Um, you guys have been seeing these, I know. Uh, I did a review on one of these from Stephen Kennedy a while back. The uh, Red Borg 9. Uh, the ones Mike grew here, again, they're, they're just huge. Nice and firm and huge. Real nice stuff. And uh, he's also got the chocolates. Uh, just, you know, the quality and the size of these pods is, you know, unmatchable from what I've been, the pods that I've been getting. Uh, these things are just fantastic. Let's look at them. And uh, there's a couple more in here. Um, here we got your, your straight up uh, bubblegum sevens with the uh, bleeding calyx. Really nice. And there happens to be some uh, chocolate bubblegum very very interesting and just so you can see it uh, I want to bring in a pepper from another guy this was grown by Stephen Canada uh, this is the yellow bubblegum seven uh, Nigel Carter just did a review on this uh, yesterday I believe uh, this is this is quite a pot also uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what they all look like and uh, We've got a couple more crosses here that are pretty unique. Um, let me get these out. Uh, 
I can never remember what this stands for, but it's a girl's name, Sarah something, and then Trinidad Scorpion Long. So SRTSL times bubblegum. Fantastic looking thing. Again, you know, huge pods. Uh, this is the same. Bleeding calyx. Fantastic looking. And uh, then I believe this was her original. The uh, Trinidad Scorpion Long. I think there's a couple of these. Yeah, this one, this one here, this this one has the, I believe the proper shape of what people are looking for. Uh, it's just another fantastic looking pod. And uh, that's about it for Mike's peppers. Uh, with one exception, uh, he sent me this crazy uh, chocolate brain strain. Uh, I'm not sure whose seed this was or where it came from, but again, it's just a giant pod. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to eat that one. Uh, I think that's a killer. I don't know. We'll decide here in the next couple of days. I want to review some of the ones that uh, really no one knows very much about first, and then I'll go on from there. Um, all right. Thanks much, Mike. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed getting a look at some of these uh, really, really cool pods.